I've often heard Jen talk about how improperly maintained landscape can actually contribute to the spread of wildfire. You know, overgrowth can act like a tinder to really make that fire spread. And clearing out some of that overgrowth can be a big job and hard work, but it can be outsourced. We found a team that really loves this job. I'm not kidding. You must be Marshall. Hey, great to finally meet it's you. It's my great pleasure. So you wrote us about your backyard. Yes, I did. It has gone completely out of control. Let's take a look. All right. We moved in this place about 10 years ago. You could literally see everything here. None of this brush was here. None of it was here, none at all. We had a beautiful deck up there, this staircase, you know, you were able to walk up to the deck and see the entire view of the city, but now it's just gotten really bad. It has gotten pretty far ahead of you. So I see that we've done a little prep work for the team that's on its way. Let's see if they're here yet. Say hello to your new best friends for the next week. Wow, look at that. <laughs> They're going to clean up your backyard. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at that. So Genevieve, we've met your beautiful goats. Tell us about this process, it's so fascinating. So we are a nonprofit. We've been in existence for about 11 years. We've been a nonprofit since 2017. And we take goats all over San Francisco and a little bit beyond uh, to do exactly what they're doing here, eat the vegetation on our hillsides and our fields. The goats will be here for about a week. They're just gonna eat as much as they can. How much will they get of this all that we see right here? They'll get to about 60 or 70% of what you can see right now. A lot of the native plants benefit from a heavy pruning, kind of like roses do, but there are some plants that they won't eat, so, and in sometimes that's a happy circumstance. We have a lot of bottle brush on this hillside, which is toxic to them, but they yeah. know to not eat it. It doesn't yeah. taste good. But they're gonna eat the ivy. They're gonna eat the Himalayan blackberry. They're going to eat the uh, invasive fennel that's Mostly on the hillside. Invasive. Yes, good. the seeds will actually get sterilized as they pass through the goat's mm. digestive system. So what are the benefits to using goats over a landscape crew? Well, number one, personality. There you go. They're so mm. much more fun to oh, watch. Oh, landscaper smile too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> But they also take a whole loop out of the carbon cycle, basically. You're not hauling all of this away and then processing it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You're doing all of your, your composting directly on site mm -hmm. through the goat. So you're right. feeding your microorganisms in the soil yep. and you're creating a stable base that prevents erosion and that also increases your fertility in the soil when you want to put in new plantings. Right. So all the way around, it's just a definite win. Where do you get all the goats from? They kind of come from all over. We have awesome. some that uh, people tried to have as pets, but they weren't zoned for goats as pets. Mm -hmm. And so they call us and say, hey, we have to get rid of these. We've yeah. got complaints from the neighbors. So we yeah. take in some in that way. We also take in uh, a lot of male goats who would otherwise go into the meat industry that are coming out of the dairy industry. So is there anything special I have to do while they're here? You have to make sure their water tub is full mm. and hang out with them a little bit, socialize with them a little bit, enjoy them while they're here because yeah. they're so much fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might want to sing to them, too. Oh, I could do a little of that. <laughs> hey, we've had, we've had clients who sat out on their deck and played guitar for the goats. Right. So, you know, they're, right. they're expecting a concert, but... Right. Well, they certainly seem happy. They are voracious eaters. They do stop. You'll see them. They'll all just lay down at the same time of day, about twice a day, yep. and just chill out. Is that like a siesta? It is like a siesta. It is like a union break, because they'll all stop at once. It's really fun on the bigger properties, where we'll have 70 or 80 goats. Yeah. About 10 AM, everybody just yep. lays down That's like right. a bell right. was rung. And then they'll all chill out and rest. Uh, and it kind of depends on the weather, how yep. long they rest. Yep. The warmer and sunnier it is, the longer they rest. Yep. And on those hot days, they'll get up and eat in the middle of the night. Yep. Uh, if you're there I do with that them. Too. Yeah, exactly, just like us, <laughs> right? <laughs> Genevieve, thank you so much. This is a really cool solution. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for, for having us here. Yep.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.